Hey guys, James with TFB TV. Today on TFB TV, we have Cody Wilson. You guys have seen Cody on our program before. In fact, you unveiled the Ghost Gunner 3 at Gunfest last year. Cody, we talked for the first time when you had GG1 back in, I mean, gosh, years ago. Ages ago, six. Y yeah, six or so, I mean, yeah, 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 yeah. And it was an honor having you on the program then. Thank it's you. an honor having you on the program now. We've got something new that's really exciting. But before we talk about it, mm -hmm. Let's pretend that some of the people who tuned in have no idea what a ghost gunner, what the machine is. Go yeah. ahead and give them the, uh, the yeah. bird's eye view. Uh, in DIY guns or gunsmithing, there's you know the, the twin pillars of the 3D printer and the CNC mill. CNC milling has been harder to get into than 3D printing in the last 10 years uh, because that equipment is just, it's more expensive, the, the, it's legacy equipment, you're, you're, there's way more capital outlay. But we've developed a, a, a generation and a series of machines that's supposed to be the most affordable desktop CNC that you can get to complement all that work being done in 3D printed guns. Uh, our CNC is called the Ghost Gunner, and what we want to show today is, is how we're going to overcome the ATF's new attack on 80% receivers in 2022. So if I had one of the first Ghost Gunners, I mean, how does that work? I, I just, I get it, and then I, I put something in it, and then a bazooka comes out. Like, what? <laughs> what I mean, you yeah. and I know the answer because yeah. we've talked about it ad I nauseum, mean, but this is for the benefit sure, of the sure. people who I mean, may we, not know. Though we wanted people five, six years ago to think that, wow, it's a box, it makes a lower, you know, from metal. How incredible. Really, the GG1 was almost just barely a CNC machine. It could just get the accurate uh, pocket milling done to the military spec on an AR uh, lower, and then a 308 lower, and these other lowers. But we, we could barely do it on GG1. So GG2, we finally built some actual accuracy and some CNC controls in there, some, some accurate probing, and, and we could do rail cutting. We finally started doing finer things like pistol frames and, and finer real work for engraving and things like this. And then we, uh, two years ago, we got to Ghost Gunner 3, which for the first time allowed us to, to implement variable frequency drive and, and truly to do steel and, and the kind of work that you would actually expect to do on a, an actual desktop CNC. But our secret... Right, our, our what we what we hid uh, from the public was a plan to do, finally, uh, a receiver from just a raw block of aluminum, mm -hmm. because we knew eventually um, this whole ghost gun thing had caught on, kit guns had caught on, and they were going to try to ban 80s. We had heard for years they were going to try to ban 80s. Uh, so what we have to debut at Shot Show is the uh, the famous zero percent receiver, the the fabled, the mythological. Can it do it from a block? Yes. Are they going to ban blocks of aluminum? Exactly. exactly. And to back it up, to back it up for the people who came over from CNN and who don't exactly <laughs> understand, you know, it's like, oh, God, you know, I put a block of metal in there and then I get a, a yeah. gun. What we're doing is primarily we're building out 80% AR-15 lowers. The lower being the, kind of, call it the registered component or the serialized component. That being the component that typically is associated with a background check you can make that at home with a ghost gunner and you can assemble your own AR-15 and you're doing it perfectly legally within the confines of the law. Uh, today, this is a today. primary use of the ghost gunner. You, you take your favorite 80% receiver, who knows what that is, a 308, a, a 15, an AR-9, whatever. There's, there's programs that, that we support and other people have for the machine. You do the pocket milling, you do the drilling. Okay, you finished your 80. Uh, there's lots of other ways to finish 80s, like the polymer 80 kits, right? Very quickly, we're using hand tools, dremels. We've got it. We've got it finished. But the administration, you know, Uncle Joe, is going to ban 80s in 2022. He's got a rule. It's ready to go. We watched the comment period all through 21. Uh, what they're going to do there is define then all 80% receivers as firearms. And then you're going to say, well, your, your next instinct is to say, well, fine, we'll make a 75% receiver. Well, of course, they thought that far. So they're saying there, there are no more unfinished receivers in this future that they imagine. Now, do we know that that future will be here in three months? I, I think a lot of people will sue. Paul Moretti, 80% arms, a lot of people will sue. But we're today going to show you how to go, not just from an 80% receiver to a gun, but from a block of aluminum on our piece of equipment all the way back into a receiver. A 0% receiver. We call it the 0% receiver. And again, for those out there who are uninitiated, that percentage is the percentage of the completion of the lower. And if it's an 80% complete lower, if 80% of the work has been done to it, it doesn't cross over into being called a firearm. With prior iterations of the Ghost Gunner, you could put your 80% receiver into this box and it would spit out a 100% complete receiver, attach all your components, your upper, your barrel, your stock, so on and so forth, and you've got a complete AR-15 that you made at home legally without a serial number. 
Now the big reveal being zero percent receivers. We can just take a block of aluminum. That's right. And walk us through it. That's right. So finally, 2022 zero percent receivers, which means you're taking a block of aluminum. You don't even have to buy. You know, do you have to buy a block of aluminum from us? You don't have to. <laughs> it's a stock part. It's a raw piece of, of metal that you can get from anywhere. You can get some basic fixtures for this machine, which is already on the market. Everything's built on Ghost Gunner 3, uh, and, and we can show you just in about three hours how you can go from nothing, from nothing that can possibly be regulated, back into the thing which they thought they had banned. Okay, so uh, I'm just going to do some very basic Ghost Gunnery things, but my software is telling me what to do. Okay, so let's just assume we've done the first four or five operations uh, on our block of metal. It's already looking substantially like an AR-15 receiver. As you can see, the, the pocket's there, uh, the magwell's there. We've got a lot of external features that, that aren't present. Uh, so we're just going to follow our directions uh, on our DD file for the 0% receiver. Our machine is going to home. Now we do some basic probing operations. What's really great about this machine is it's so accurate and can rehome itself so frequently that we can actually take measurements based off the work that we are always doing on the, on the machine. So we can take accurate measurements from the workpiece that we're already working with. So we're going to get an X, Y, and Z here. The tool indicates uh, where we're at in the work coordinate system, makes sure that the part is where it thinks it is, does a little bit of math, and helps us uh, begin each operation. So and another important thing about this is Let's say you don't have three hours all in one go to finish the receiver. You can pause at different chapters of the work, come back and start it later. Will the machine automatically figure out where we're at in the yeah, process? that's what's happening. The, mach the machine is doing that work for us right now. So I could just take um, my block of aluminum and I've got, I, I put it in there for like 30 minutes. I could set it aside and a month from now, come back, just pop it in there, hit go, and it's gonna automatically do it? Yeah, absolutely. Because what we're doing is we're making sure at each step that we're taking accurate measurements from the step before, right? We don't wanna frustrate the, the user. We know that uh, the, the largest lion's share of our customer base are power boomers, you know? Like, <laughs> they're, they're not cyberpunks like, like we wanna be, right? Like we wanna try to be, you know? We actually have to help you make this and call tech support as little as possible. And you could say the, the virtue of the Ghost Gunner project for the last six years is learning how to actually do customer support for these crotchety old gun humpers That's funny. that don't want to learn Windows, you know? We, we've seen all, you know, all kinds of stuff at this point, people running on their phones, iPads, things like mm -hmm. that. But for the, the best experience, we recommend uh, companion laptop, Mac, Windows. Uh, we should have uh, a new Linux DD cut ready in time for SHOT Show. Uh, but basically your standard operating systems, a standard laptop, USB connection, and you're doing most of the work in our, our proprietary software called DDCut. But again, everything here uh, is open source. The, the files, the plans, the code base, they're all available for, uh, for public review, expansion, you know, diversion. Uh, people can take what we've done, remix it, uh, inject code into it. But what we're gonna do now is uh, actually start this operation. I don't know if it's that interesting, but you'll kind of see what it looks Go like. Go for it. So we're air cutting, but this is what the beginning of Operation 6 looks like. So we're, we're doing work, we have a progress bar, we're sending G-code, okay? This is CNC work, all right? Now, you'll notice that I'm not getting my hands dirty, right? I'm mostly watching what's happening. Safety first. <laughs> uh, and, and this is really the Ghost Gunner experience that we've, that we've pioneered. It's not unlike 3D printing in this regard. You get to kind of understand the code that's being sent. You can modify that code. You can pause and adjust. Uh, but by and large, this set of operations comes prepackaged for you. And it just asks you to do the linking kind of work and the setup kind of work. And you get to, to stand back and cross your arms while the, the real work gets done for you. So with a GG3, I can do this. If That's I already right. have a GG3, I yeah. can do this. I mean, is it a software update? Is there any hardware? Are there any changes? The, the only changes are a new set of fixtures uh, and a new set of files to take uh, the, the block and to finish the block. So there's a new set of operations for blocks of aluminum uh, of a stock component size. When can I expect to see this if I've got a GG3? Yeah, we, we put this out for sale a week before SHOT Show. That's mm -hmm. what we're thinking. But we're trying to front run the ATF rule, so I'm kind of waiting for ATF to go. If ATF goes this week, 
I guess you'll hear about it before this video publishes. Because but it's December right now, you know, for people out there who don't know. When we're it, this recording. is December. It's the end of almost New Year's, yeah. So if I've got a GG3, yeah. how much is the kit and the software and everything going to cost me? Our, our final pricing is to give you the block of aluminum for less than 20 bucks, to give you the other little components for, again, in an assembly that's less than a, a billet. 80% mm -hmm. receiver. Mm -hmm. So the entire assembly is cheaper than what billet receivers go for. Mm -hmm. You're going to see a, an assembly cheaper than 120 bucks, for example. These fixtures, again, not very expensive. Um, you know, probably less than $100. Mm -hmm. I don't have the very final pricing in because I'm still getting quotes from manufacturers and we expect the demand will be pretty big. But this is not a significant addition in cost, uh, since, if, especially if you've already invested in the platform. It's just about showing you that, like, all right, now I can take cheap material and take it all the way back up to that valuable material that they've tried to ban. Sure, and this will only work with the GG3. This is only built for GG3, mm -hmm. so look, do we, do we want it to work on GG2? Sure, but we knew if it was uh, time for 0% receiver, people would have to upgrade to the 3. So we've been shipping the 3 for a few years now. You're going to have to get into a 3 if you want to do 0%. Now, the interesting thing about the GG3, ferrous and non-ferrous metals, mm -hmm. is there going to be any potential? I, I, I would imagine the answer is going to be no. But am I going to be able to do something similar with steel or? Our, our hope is that, so right now, these applications require only a spindle fan, no coolant. Our hope is that we can have some really advanced small scale steel stuff. Like, um, I, I don't know a good example that, that doesn't commit me to, to mm -hmm. supporting sure. that right now. Yeah, no, I agree. Uh, but we've, we've got a, an interesting coolant situation in effect and a, an interesting VFD situation that should allow a new combination of steel and heavy steel work. Uh, beyond what we've done before. So you can do steel now, but we don't recommend anything that isn't, you know, just engraving Simple, or, right, or rail right. stuff. You gotta go slower for steel. Mm -hmm. You gotta be careful in your programming. You gotta really understand the limits of this machine. So you have to design specifically for the application and the machine's limitations. So you need to employ our variable frequency drive. And we recommend, we recommend some type of, of coolant. Or is there any possibility of say 0% you know, Gen 3 Glock frames Abs or absolutely. 1911 I frames. I think that's just what's happening here. We're demonstrating Air 15 at SHOT Show, but you should be thinking, okay, every other type of 80% receiver, I can get there now from a block. I can get there from a block of plastic, block of aluminum, tiny block of steel. We'll find out. All possible with the GG3. We believe so. If I don't have a GG3 yet, I'm watching this video, I'm pumped up by this news, I want to get one. How do I get one? How long does it take? You're and waiting. How much? Yeah, I know you're waiting. You're, you're, you're waiting. waiting a little bit. And how much does it cost? You, you've still got a six month wait at ghostgunner.net. We hope if this launch is successful and we, we see genuine demand, we hope we can bring on a contract manufacturer and really knock a lot of that stuff out. Um, so I'm hoping uh, a ton of deliveries uh, by the, the end of 2022. You, you need to get in line. All I can say is that we know we'll commit to at least another 700 machines for 2022, but that could be sold you know, the week sure. of SHOT Show, like, I, I, I don't know. Ghostgunner.net, get on the wait list. But we won't, we won't rest here. Like, if, if this wait list stays like it is, and, and it's, it's still such a burden, we, we will employ additional contracting manufacturers, and we will get the machines out. Are you taking money up front, or do I pay a deposit? How does we, that work? we take a deposit, because, okay. you know, supply chain problems, things like that. Sure. We need to know you're willing to wait six months to get the thing. Mm -hmm. So we take a $500 deposit on the machine. But the machine itself, $2,500, I mean, this is not an expensive machine. Uh, especially when 80% receivers will be banned. This is going to be one of the only ways that you can do this kind of work mm -hmm. going forward. I, I hope that ATF and, and Giffords and all these people really give themselves a good week to congratulate themselves because this <laughs> shit's over as soon as this thing comes out. As soon as it out. comes out, yeah. right? I hope they have a good week. <laughs> Cody, <laughs> and on that optimistic note, <laughs> what a positive guy you are. Thank Cody. you, brother. It's always, it's always a, a pleasure to have you on the program. Appreciate it, man. And, I mean, we were just talking about you guys have become a software slash customer yeah. service company Feels that way. more yeah. than a gun company or even a, a hardware company. You, you specialize in, you know, five years ago, I would say we were a gun company. I, yeah, I could say we're something like a software company now. Uh, we like gun people. Uh -huh. We want to yeah, help sure. people become sure. gun people, sure. you know, sure. but we're like the, uh, we're the company before that, I guess. Yeah, sure. And you guys are doing it. So thanks again for being on the program. Thanks. Guys, thanks a ton for watching. Appreciate it. We will be bringing you more coverage from SHOT Show. Mm -hmm. And I mean, who knows even when this video is going to drop. But it's all really exciting stuff. And we're glad you're a part of it. Everyone, take care. <laughs>